I really want to collect every single card in MLB The Show. I'm curious, are any of y'all watching out there close to collecting every card? Clearly, I'm not. I have a long ways to go. I want to start with MLB players. Eventually, I want to get all the equipment, perks, sponsorships, unlockable stadiums. I want every single card available before MLB 25 comes out. As y'all can see up in the top left, 3.5 million stubs. So what I'm doing today, because it's Black Friday, I'm going to go on a little bit of a spending spree. I don't think I'm going to spend... All 3.5 million stubs. All right, so I just spent about 15 minutes and like 50 or 60,000 stubs buying every live series card that I didn't have. I'm starting to think that I used some of them for exchanges. And I also did because I didn't have that many I was missing. I also went ahead and bought every free agent live series. So we're making progress. And this is where I'm scared of, okay? And uh, I, I want to make sure I'm not spending like overspending because there's going to be cards. I'm definitely not getting certain cards. Adley Rushman. Wait, where's he from? 300,000 stubs. Where is this man from? So I'm, I'm not planning on buying every car today. I got to get team affinity ones done too. Uh, but like, I want to buy the cheaper ones, right? Like I don't want to buy Jim Palmer for the event. That's a rewind thing. Uh, maybe eventually, cause I do have a lot of stubs, but Oh man, there's a lot of cars that I don't have. Okay. So I'm probably going to be putting in buy orders for most of these. Connor Norby will do 8,001. Ooh, ooh, imagine 80,000. Wait, there's going to be so many cars. I don't have though. But I'm interested to see because we started about like 3.55 million. And it's like, I, 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 I want to check the, the quick sell value. So it was like 4,000. Do I really want to spend an extra 2,000? Not really. Not really, man. I would rather just buy, like do that buy order. If he goes through, he goes through. If not, we can always try to do it later on. Um, but I definitely don't want to buy the six figure cards yet. But I just, I wish I knew off the top of my head the quick sell values of everybody. Because that's 4,500. So... I'll do 4501, just give somebody like an extra stub or something for James McCann. I don't like that I'm going to have to scroll down like this every time. That's just going to be slightly annoying. And this is only the Orioles, dude. Oh, this is actually going to, this is going to probably take way longer than I thought it would. But I kind of want to go through every team and just see. I'm hoping some orders go through while I do this too. Uh, Gunnar Henderson... I mean, and it's like, I could just do 5,000. I don't know what the quick sell value would be. I oh, wait, did it say somewhere? Wait, let me see if it says somewhere the quick sell value. Gunnar Henderson. Uh, so that's the finest event. We're not doing Jim Palmer. Uh, but for example, Kyle Bradish. Let's see if it says the quick sell value somewhere. Like when I'm creating a buy order. No, I don't think it does. Okay, never mind. Hopefully, I mean, like someone might have a buy order in already. Um, like we can see, I'm guessing the quick sell value is 5,000. So I'll do 5,001. Kyle Bradish right there. Santander will do him. I'm guessing this is 10,000. We'll see. No, and see, like, that's like, why would I spend like 7,000 extra subs? That's that's why I'm not going to buy now on these. Because, like, that extra 7,000 subs, that could really come in handy. I just, I, I need to really make sure I know the quick sell values. I should have wrote, wrote it down on a post it note or something off the top of my head the quick sell values of these flashback diamonds. Because. It's just going to be annoying having to check this every time, but we're doing a huge spending spree today. Colton Cowser, that's Team Affinity. Adley Rushman, I want to know where he comes from. It says Goat Collection, so that makes me think he's like a... Uh, I was going to say it makes me think he's a boss or something, but why would he be that expensive? I really don't know. I'm so confused now. Um, Samuel Basayo, Basalo right there. We'll do 6-7. I'll just do 6-7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. I don't mind the extra few hundred stubs. <laughs> And I guess it's not going to be that bad going through each team. It's still going to be annoying. Cedric Mullins will try to buy him. 17, 2, 2, 2. That's fine with me. And I'm curious to see what my stub total those at at the end of the day. For Brooks Robinson, I'll go ahead and do 6, 6, 6. And see, there's a card that went through. Jackson Holiday. Boom. Awesome. That's one less card that we're going to have to get. So now on to the Red Sox. But man, I have a lot of cards I need. And I think I like starting from the bottom better. Like a BR card. I'm not doing this today. I'm not doing, I'm not doing BR cards. BR, nope. Um, this is not a BR card right here. We see another order going through. That's huge. But yeah, BR cards, I still have to do the program. So I'm going to come back because obviously, obviously, I'm not going to have every card after today. I don't think I could even afford every card. Oh, wait, who did, did I just do Jason Bay? I think so. All right, yeah, Jim Rice next. But obviously, I'm not going to have every card after today. Uh, so I'm still going to want to do this in the future i'm still gonna want to this is just like my my start of this this is my first spending spree and i'm really interested to see you guys might know already based on the title i have no clue how many stubs i'm gonna spend today and i'm putting in buy orders five thousand and one 
will do for this. Corbin Burns just went through it. It's beautiful to me though, seeing the cards go through in the top uh in the top right, seeing the orders go through. I just did Jaron Duran, Roman Anthony. I, I think he's probably gonna be five thousand and one as well. I'll just try five thousand and one and see if that works. I guess if it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, our order posted awesome. There's a dear I didn't realize just how many cards I didn't have though. There's actually a lot more. Event card, nope. I'm saving these for rewinds or we'll buy them on another day. I just want to see how many cards I have, how many stubs I have or whatever. But we're doing that on another day. 13666. I'm real curious to see if I have that Jackie Robinson captain card or not though too. Uh, I need to do the ML MILB awards program obviously. That's a card I don't have. We'll do 5001 for this. Yeah, if I would have been buying every... I mean, it would have been just 15 minutes more. But I'm glad I didn't put in the live series cards... I don't know if I even ended up putting in the beginning of them, though. Kevin Euclid here. We'll just do six eights. Man, I'm so interested, though. Black Friday spending. Uh, these cards are kind of expensive. I mean, I'll still do it. 12, 5, 5, 5. David Ortiz went through. I don't mind it, though. Like, I haven't spent stubs all year, man. And this is this is what I say my stubs for. is, is I, I decided eventually, like, rewind packs would come out. Cards would go down in price. And I would want to try to get every card in the game because I want to do team builds and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing here today. Almost done now with the Red Sox. I guess I can do these two. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to put in an order for like 877. Hopefully Mar someone sells Marcelo Meyer and I get the most recent one. If not, we'll come back to it. Um, I'm just going to do 28,000 for Jaron Duran. That's fine. But I'm scared, though, man. Like we're already over 200,000 stubs into this and I'm barely any teams in, you know. I guess I did the live series stuff too. Yankees, a lot of cards. That's BR. That's BR. That's BR. That's BR. Okay. That's Battle Royale. All right. So finally, a non BR card. So we're at 90. We're at uh, Clark Schmitz. I'm guessing he's going to be 5,000. No, 4,000. Okay. 4,001. Might even just start doing 4,008. But let's go back down to Clark Schmidt. Where was he? The 90 overalls. Yo, there's a lot for the Yankees I don't have. Okay um geo Urshela's br so yeah br cards we're not doing for now I i'm waiting until, until i finish the br program to do those i keep accidentally double hitting these cards on accident uh alex verdugo where was he oh oh my goodness yeah now there's so many i don't have uh mickey mansell let's see what the difference is 4500 i mean some of these maybe i should just buy now like it's only a thousand stubs, but if you if you count how many cards we're doing, those thousand stubs will start to add up eventually. Uh, one Soto. Let's see what he is. Yeah, I really wish I knew the the quick sell prices off the top of my head. Five thousand and eight will do for him. Next up, let's see, who's after Juan Soto? Lou Trevino. I'm just gonna try five thousand and eight. I'm guessing it's gonna still be there. I need to be paying attention to these overalls. Because it's, it's not seeming like anybody's higher than that. So I guess I can try 5,000 for everybody above this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, next up is Mariana Rivera. That's ranked season. So even ranked seasons, I think we're going to we're gonna wait on the ones that say ranked too. I see no point in, uh, in not waiting until I get the ranked program done. I keep double hitting these though. All right, 5,000 for him. Austin Wells. Slowly, very slowly, but surely making our way through. Uh, Matt Carpenter will do just 5,000 and... 88 i guess that's fine i don't mind spending 78 extra i'm okay with that so we just did matt carpenter i think yeah there we go oh man I, I i actually thought i had like way more cars than this i really thought i had way more cars than we do man this this is gonna end up taking a lot longer than i thought it would but that's okay man i want to do this eventually uh I, i'm sure this is not going to be the most entertaining video but hey if somebody wants to see it they want to see it if they don't you're not forced to watch videos, which is awesome. You know, you don't have to be watching this. Uh, three cards, four cards from programs, okay. Another ranked seasons card. Another card from a collection this time. Um, this one's from an event. Rich Gossage. Yo, he's expensive. I'm okay, though. Like, I'm okay spending some stubs today, man. I got stubs to spend for now. Uh, we'll see how long I do, but we got stubs to spend for now. Posada, that's ranked. Uh, Rivera's collection. Lou Gehrig's collection. Wait, I should go through and do the collections too. Aaron Judge will buy him. I need to go through though and do those collections. Oops. A lot of collections that I need to do. Aaron Judge. And I think we're done with the Yankees buy orders. There we go. Beautiful. Love to see that. Rays. Yo, <laughs> Yankees 95 cards. I get that it's different teams, everything like that. But 95 compared to 36 is kind of crazy. 
Uh, BR, BR, not BR. I like these smaller teams, though. I think the Yankees will probably be one of the biggest. So I guess we got one of the biggest ones out of the way. We just did Yandi. Uh, yeah, I think this will be 5,000 again, I'm assuming. I think, I think like 90, 91, 92, maybe 92 is where we get to the 5,000s. That's what it's seeming like. And I hope every team is like as, as I don't want to say as small as the Rays, but like needing as little cards for me as the Rays. Um, yeah, this should be another 5,000. I don't know if it ever gets higher than that. It doesn't seem like it even for 99s. I think flashback 99s might be like that. Edwin is team affinity. Um, we'll do 7, 2, 2, 2. That's fine. Don't want to double hit again today. That was Junior. Carson Williams, we'll just do 5, 5, 5 for him. Um, I really am curious to see. Rich Gossage just went through. I'm real curious to see where I'm at. Also, if I wanted to sell Rich Gossage, let me see something. Yo, we could we could profit like 10,000 stubs. Wait, it's probably super easy to work the market and make stubs right now. Um, BR, 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 waits. I might have, I might even, okay, that's a, wait, I thought I had Vlad Jr. I, I have all of these cards. I should just do this collection too. I'm going to have to go through and do the collections. Okay. Uh, George Springer, let's do 5,000 and eights. Wait, what overall is he? 92. Yeah, he should be 5,000 then. Um, he's right there. Oops, my bad. Messed up a little bit. Spencer, 5,008. We're doing a lot of 5,008s now. That's just going to be like the quickest way to do it. Vlad Jr., Team Affinity, not doing BR right now. Um, Paul Molitor. I really don't know how many flawless cards that I, I'm missing. Because we're going to be getting six from the program. I, I can't... I'm definitely... No, there's been 10. This is, this is what, the 10th, so there's 18. I'm probably missing seven. No, but I, ha I haven't done every BR program this year, man. Shoot. I, for I, I haven't done all the BR programs, so I'm probably missing more than that. Oh, that kind of scares me a little bit. But we got packs, and I can always buy some of the cards. Like, some of them I don't think are super expensive, but I'm scared, actually. Oh, dude. Wait, I really want to get through the BR program and the ranked program just as fast as I can to see how many I'm missing. So that's BR, that's BR, that's BR, that's BR. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably missing like I'm probably missing seven or eight, maybe nine flawless rewards. Not even a little bit more. Um, I don't know if if by the end of this video we'll wait for all the orders to go through, so I might just kind of leave it overnight type deal because we're gonna have the orders in anyways, and I think they I think they should go through eventually. I don't think there's gonna be like a huge demand for all these cards. I just don't think so. Uh, we just did Brian Ramos, Hagen Smith. We'll do five thousand and eight for him. That just seems to be the way to go. And I don't want, we're not flying now. It definitely seems like we're going faster. Uh, I think we got through one of the biggest teams, the Yankees. I don't think there's going to be too many teams that compare to that. That was probably the longest team of the day. And I'm definitely missing a lot of those. We'll just do 588 here. But I can't imagine most of these cards are in super high demand. Like the ones that are in high demand would be a higher price. But then the higher price cards are probably going to be moving faster than some of these lower ones even too. But... I got to think most of these cards are going to be moving pretty fast. That's the White Sox. Guardians, we're missing 11. Um, BR, not BR. So what's Tristan McKenzie? Is this 4,500? What is it for 3,500 for an 89? See, yeah, this is why I wish I had like a, just a list, like post-it noted onto my monitor, taped onto my wall up there, something like that. I kind of like doing these videos every now and then though, man, because like it, it, it forces me to get stuff done that I, I wasn't doing. Like I've been trying to, I've been wanting to collect these cards kind of since season four started. And this is kind of forcing me to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? So I understand this is probably not the most entertaining thing to watch, but Hey, if there's at least one person that watched any of this video, I guess I'm happy with that. I'm probably wasting, actually, no, I'm not wasting stubs there. Never mind. Um, let's do chase to louder, but yeah, no, I just like some days where, you know, with daily uploading for over seven years in a row, we're going to have days like this where it's going to be just, you know, doing something tedious on the game just to kind of make sure I get it done. Uh, on Sunday, we might even have like me doing collections, those season three ones that I need to do. I'm um, just kind of checking the others. I can't think there's too many more, but um, I think I might need to do season three. Uh, 5,008 here. I started to lose track for a second. My brain is definitely feeling like... I don't know if fried is the best word. Maybe fried. Ranked, not doing that. Season 2 collection. See, I just don't know for this, but I'll go ahead and buy him. Why not? 822222, two, 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 Bob Feller. 
Travis Bonanza. We'll do five, four for him. Oops. Wait, we got a lot of active orders still, though. Oh, my God. Wait, we got a lot of cars that need to go through still. Shoot. We've spent almost 500,000 stubs, I think. Tiger's missing 16. Um, someone just invited me to a party on Xbox. What the heck? Uh, we'll do 5,000 for this. Beautiful. Love to see it. Jason Foley. Where was he? Spencer Torkelson. BR program. Nope, not doing that. Jackson Joby. I do hope we continue to just see orders going through this whole time, though. That's going to be, that's going to be the, like, the best sight to see. Okay, I'm not buying Hal Newhouser right now. I don't know where he's from, but 200,000 stubs. I'm not doing that right now. No, I'm good. I'm good on that for now. That's okay. We don't need to do that. Uh, I just did Bryce, Casey Mize, and one Seal Perez. Here we go. 5,008. One Seal Perez, Casey Mize. Once I'm out of the AL, I feel like it's going to go faster because then we know it's like, okay, we're halfway through and then like each one is less than halfway. Like I feel like that's when it's going to start going fast for me. Finest event. Nope, not doing that. Dude, 500. Like that's insane. There's no way they don't give us more more rewind pack. Like why are like why are they gatekeeping the finest cards so hard? That's just so weird to me that the finest cards are so much more expensive than everything else, you know? Uh that was a Jake Rogers, Andy Abanias program. Dude, I gotta get these programs done now too. Al K line right there. Max Clark, Tariq Scoobal. Yeah, we'll just put orders in for both of these. 866. Who was after him? Oh, we're already at the top. Okay. And we'll do we'll just do sevens for this. So I've already spent over 500,000 stubs, man. We gone crazy today. Um, Royals, only nine cards I don't have. That's good, I guess. Like, the, the, the less we have to put buy orders in for, the better. Really. Aaron Judge just went through. That's a bigger card. Uh, this is BR, so I'm not doing him. Uh, Jorge Soler should be 5,008. I'm kind of surprised I haven't like fat fingered or double clicked and accidentally like done buy now on a card yet. So I'm surprised I haven't done that. XP, Team Affinity. Uh, we'll just, we'll get this Bobby Witt right now. I'm probably going to have packs though from some of these collections that might give me some cards. And I guess I could always sell them then too. Not doing the event. That's Career Tributes and that's a program. Okay, so yeah. I'm missing a lot of cards because of programs too. 14 for the twins that's br that's just normal thing i do like that the orders are continuing to go through i'm glad it's not like getting stagnant at the top or anything like that i think we just did no we did who did we just do uh i think we did correa what i don't who did i just put an order in for oh bailey ober wait where was bailey ober Oh, right there. My bad. I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, see, the, my brain's feeling fried. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> uh, there's Joe Maurer right there. We're on the central, though. Wait, is the west? A oh, dude, is the west after the central? Wait, we got a lot. We got a lot of teams to go still. Oh, I'm running out of stubs, y'all. I mean, we got three million left, but I feel like I'm running out of stubs slowly but surely. Hopefully it's worth it. What I should do is be putting in orders for each of these guys, like two of them. And then uh, I put in two orders for each of them. And then I could just sell one and make like hella. I could make so much profit on these, but uh, that's Battle Royale. But I think that's a flawless reward. I'll hold off on that for now, though. I'm not going to do a BR one right now. I'll hold off on that. 5,008. Yeah, but I mean, like I could be making so I could be making so much profit from these. Um, I just did Brooks Lee. We'll do Miguel Sano now. Um, I'll probably just do 5,008 for him. Hope it goes through fast. I'm okay with that. Burp Lie 11. Man, we got a lot of cards that we need to get. I'm not even halfway through yet, dog. I've spent so many stubs. I mean, we're probably not exactly half, but like, oh my God. Just because like the Yankees had so much. Other teams will have more. Other teams will have less. But holy Walker Jenkins, Rod Carew, we're not doing... Uh, Santana we're not doing I want this Santana card but um, I guess we're on to the Astros now we're on to the West that's good that's some good news that's BR right there um, these are just normal packs we'll do 4,008 for him that's Christian Javier who was next to him it was Hunter Brown 
And see, like, someone put in a buy order for 8,000. Like, nah, dude. I hope I haven't made some mistakes there. I'm just doing 4,008. That's going to go through eventually, I would assume. Uh, goat collection. Don't know exactly what that means. I mean, I know there's the goat collection. Maybe he's just from, like, a pack that's available in there. I don't know for sure. Uh, Jeremy Pena will grab this. There it is. First time I did it. First time I did it, man. So what I'm going to do here, 5,008. And then I'm going to try to sell the one that I have. I might be losing a little bit of stubs, but, at, you know, at least I would be kind of making some in a way. But first time I fat fingered it, it was bound to happen at some point. Bregman, I'm not buying 100 something thousand stubs. Heck no. 5,008. Yo, this is crazy. I didn't expect this to be this long of a video today, by the way. I, I didn't realize just how many cards I needed. I probably should have checked. That's my bad. I didn't realize, but oh my goodness, man, this is crazy. Yanir Diaz right there. Kyle Tucker should be able to do... See, like, 5,000 and 8, man. I can make over 10,000 stubs. Not profit, necessarily, but, like, sell them for over 14,000 or whatever. That's crazy. Uh, 5,088, I guess. Sure. Why not? You're done. Yuli Gurriel, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. I, I really... I did not realize just how many I needed today. That's fine. I'm glad I'm doing this, man. I'm glad. Like, this is just me getting it done. Uh, Josh Hader, sure. We'll, we'll put in 21555. Five, five. Another expensive card. There's not too many of these, but another mm -hmm. one. Um, Garrett Cole. He's a little bit more expensive, too. I'll just I'll just do 7122. Two, two. That's fine. Even if we're spending a few extra mm -hmm. thousand stubs than we need to, I'm okay with that. Spencer Spaghetti. 5,008. Oops. Haven't done that in a while, though, either. Mm -hmm. Angels, eight cards I'm missing. I thought he was going to be BR here. I think this is probably going to be 3,500. 225. See, like what? Some of these are super low. That was Kevin Pilar. Uh, the Frying Dutchman. I'll do 3,508 here. Okay with that. And he, yo, he literally sold instantly. That's crazy. Um, Mickey Maniac, we should be able to do 5,008. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm If I was doing buy now for these, I would have like double the stub spent pretty much. I, I would be probably over a million stub. I would be easily over a million stub spent already. Uh, that was Mickey Maniac, Vlad Sr. Wait, BR. I'm still, even though it's BR, I'm going to do this. 5,008. Yeah, he's, that's basically Quixel right mm -hmm. here. Uh, Mike Trout's not doing him yet. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through and do the collections. I'm starting to think maybe I'll try to do that on Sunday. We'll see, but... Luis Renjifo, 5,008 for him, too. That's okay with me. Uh, Yeah, Logan Ohapi, 12,000. Let's just do 12,111. That's just going to be... Oh, my God. Imagine I would have actually spent six figures on him. I would have been so mad. All right, Logan Ohapi, and we're done with the Angels. Nice. Flying through. And now, dude, there's a lot of athletics still. Um, that's BR. Miguel Andahar, 2255. Five. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Seth Brown. or not? That's not Seth Brown. JJ Blade. Maybe that's why I thought it was a BR program card. 5,008. Wait, he's only 87. I'm probably wasting stubs on that. Here, let's just go. Let's just do this. Cancel it. Yeah. How much is it going to be? Oops. Two, two. Yeah, I would have wasted. I would have like double the stubs that I needed to. No, I'm, I'm glad I canceled that actually. JJ Bladez right there. Shea Langoliers. This should be 5,008 though, I'm pretty sure. 91 overall. 4,500. Okay, so I think it starts at 92. I think 92 overall is where the 5,000 starts. Right there. Big Mac is ranked, so we won't do him. Man, I'm excited to get through the BR and ranked program because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of cards that I didn't have. That's going to be nice. Almost done, almost, or not almost done, but almost halfway through. And then after that, it, it's going to feel, at least for me, like it's going way faster. Uh, program, ranked. We'll do this one. Yeah, no, once I, once I do the programs, once I do ranked, once I do BR, I'm going to have so much, so many more cards. Um, 5,008, I think we just did Jacob Wilson. There's only one person at 5,100, so 5,008 for Nick, too. Nick Kurtz right there. Ricky Henderson is a collection. Vada Blue's a collection. And Lawrence Butler. I'll just do 7-5. Seven, 
Seven five oh eight, and we're done with the athletics now. So we're getting slowly but surely done with the West Mariners. We got nine that I need. Uh, Kyle Seeger, cool. Five thousand and eight. Yeah, no, nah, this is taking way longer than I thought it would, y'all. My bad, but again, I'm just glad to be getting it done. Really, at this point too. And I'm interested, like, when I wake up tomorrow, am I going to have all these orders going through? I really don't know. Uh, that was Jonathan Classe. Collection. Show There's a showdown? Wait, I guess I need to do the draft showdown, huh? Okay. Uh, I didn't know that, but I guess I need to do the draft showdown, too. I'll add that to my list of things that I got to do. Did not realize that. Julio, we can put in a buy order. Man, there's way more cars than I thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm on what? 800,000 stubs. We're, we're, we're getting close to a million spent already, and I'm not even done with the AL. Crazy work. Crazy work. But I'm glad these cards are still going through in the top right, too. 370? What? Where do you get him? And then Julio's a collection. Rangers 15 here. Um, I, I'm hoping some of these... Like, that says BR. Cool. I, I like that there's some cards I don't have to put orders in for. 3699, Jonah Heim, that kind of rhymed a little bit. <laughs> uh, Nick Solak is BR, like I said. Adolis, and then, yeah, both of these guys. So we'll do Adolis next. I think our Rangers to the halfway mark, or do we got one more team? Do we have one or two more teams in here that we're going to need to do for the AL? Uh, I'm just going to do 5,008. Even though I'm spending like an extra 500 stubs on these two cards, that's fine. Wyatt Langford, yeah, we'll do 5,008 for him. Holy, man. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get tired of seeing and saying the number 5,008. Joey Gallo, we're not doing. Nolan Ryan, sure. Put in a buy order for him. Again, I'm still glad. I'm probably repeating myself a ton, but I'm still glad those orders are going through in the top right. That's beautiful to see. I just don't want them to stop. Like, if they stop at some point, I'm going to be a little bit scared for my uh, for me having to put in even more buy orders. But also, at the same time, it's like, I'll probably let them sit for a few days. I'd be surprised if they didn't go through. I think a lot of them will. Uh, after that, too, it's like, I want to get the BR program done, rank seasons program done, the collections done. Apparently, that one showdown done, the programs that I need to do done. There's going to be packs that I need to open. So, uh, I'm not too worried. Like, I, I really think eventually maybe even a week from now i don't know about a week from now that might be tough for the event cards like the the six figure ones but uh a week from now i gotta think we're gonna be really close to having every every card maybe not the equipment or the jerseys nothing like that but everything else ranked no pudge ranked no so yeah we're done with the al all right so we're on to the nl i'm curious i can't quick sell y'all i wish you could quick sell like duplicate bosses i kind of get why you can't but it'd be nice to just make some extra stubs from that uh, Warren Spawn, I guess I'm spending 20k. <laughs> I guess I don't want to, but like we have the stubs. I'm interested to see what team we're on once I get to a million spent. I think we started at 3550. I want to say we started at about 3550 today. So we should be getting there pretty soon. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it, it's nice that we're done with the AL. I'm glad that we're done with the AL just because like we're, we're kind of at the halfway point now in a way. Hopefully it's even further past that because like the Yankees were so big. They were huge. They were massive. But hopefully we're uh hopefully we're past the halfway point kind of in just terms of buy orders I need to put in because it's already taken way longer than I thought it would, man. There's so many cars that I didn't realize I have. And I was I I'm kind of sitting here thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this until I finish all the team affinities. Uh I just did my historical right, yeah. I was kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't have done this until I finished all the team affinities, until I finished all the BR programs, uh, until I finished the ranked program, um, the, the, that one showdown. I thought maybe I should even do some conquest maps too, but I was just like, nah, because if I do this now when I get these cards and somehow from these programs or whatever, it, like say I get other cards, right, then I can just sell the ones that like I, 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 would, I would sell the extras basically. Uh, are we spending 20,000 on this card too? I guess Ozzy always come here, but yeah, I would, um, if I get any, like at this point, then I get, I get one of these cards, it'll be a duplicate and I could just sell them. That's kind of like what I'm planning on. At least I don't know how many of these cards I would get from packs or programs or anything like that, but you never know. And Austin Riley, uh, I get him in the Halloween program. Got to do that. Max Freed, team affinity, uh, Ozuna, we can go ahead and buy him. 
But like a, a card like Ozuna, like there's a chance that I get him from one of the programs. Actually, no, because he's season one. I haven't. No, I'm not going to get him from that. Uh, Billy Wagner. There's just, I don't think there's that many amazing lefty relievers. I'm okay to spend stubs on him though. Like I got stubs to spend. Obviously, I would prefer not to spend 47,000 stubs on a car, but hey, man. And we're about to approach a million. Yeah, it looks like the Marlins will be where I get to a million stubs spent today. And we're not done yet. Yo, this is a this is a huge Black Friday spending spree today, man. I, I thought I literally thought I was gonna spend a million max. I was like, yeah, I'll probably hit a million because I'm not gonna buy the event cards, so there's probably not that many expensive cards. Like I probably have a lot of them already. Oh, apparently not. I feel like by this point in the year, usually I have way more cards. Now I will say, and a big part of it was sets and seasons this year. Uh, I, I did not play this game nearly as much as I've played other versions of MLB The Show. Like, I did not... A, a lot of years, I'll work the market all year long. Um, I'll be buying cards and, like, trying to make sure I, I have every card once the season ends. Trying to get the season collections done as fast as possible. In the past, I've done debuts. I've gotten through programs, like, the day they came out. I just really didn't do that this year. Like, once I knew sets and seasons were back, I, I knew I didn't like them last year. I, I knew I wasn't going to like them this year. I still don't remember, like... The years blur together for me a little bit, and I don't want to sit here and just talk about what I don't like about the game, stuff like that, because obviously I've talked about it plenty of times before. Um, but I I'm trying to think how sets and seasons were different. Maybe there were more seasons last year. I, I, I don't I don't remember exactly how they were different. I know you could use car like. I don't know, man. I don't know exactly how they were different. I just I just know they, like, tried to change them a little bit. I feel like the overall sentiment last year was that people didn't like them. And then they're like, okay, we heard your feedback, so we changed them. And I thought they were going to say, oh, we heard your feedback and got rid of them. But I'm trying to remember, and I just can't off the top of my head, exactly what was different between sets and seasons last year compared to this year. Uh, but with that being said, I just I, I knew that even with them changing things, I wasn't going to like it. I didn't like sets and seasons last year for the sole reason that I didn't want to have to like restart ever. And I didn't want to have to um, not be able to use cards until the final season like that. Just that type of stuff. And I just I just knew right away that I wasn't going to like it. And I'm not surprised at all that I, I really did not play a, a lot this year and didn't catch up a lot this year compared to other years. I'm just really not surprised. 2-2-5-5 two, two, five, five will do for him. Slowly but surely, we're, we're, we're past that halfway point, which I like to see. Uh, Mark Vientos, the Mets, 20 cards that I don't have. London Series. T it took me so long to actually get that London Series program done, too. All right, 4, 5, 0, 8 will do. So that's 91 overall. Where is he at? Where is he at? There we go. Brandon Nemo will do 4, 5, 0, 8 for him. But yeah, there's way more cards that I, 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 than I realized that I did not have. Brandon Nimmo, where's he at? Pete Alonzo. I'm hoping we see some more in this. Uh, like, I, I like in the team seeing, oh, this is from a team affinity, or this is from a program, or this is from ranked, or this is from BR. Because it's kind of nice to not have to spend the, the it's not kind of, it's kind of nice to not have to put the buy orders in. Wait, how do I get David Robertson? No locate, yo, if you're watching this video right now, I have no clue if there's going to be a single person watching right now, but if you're watching this video right now, do you know how to get David Robertson? It literally says no locations found. I can't buy him. Where does that card come from? What the heck? Wait, where does David Robertson come from? I want that card. I, I literally have no clue. Um, Jet Williams. I almost called him JT Williams. 96. So yeah, we're, we're coming up on the end of the Mets here. That's not too bad. 20 cards. It was quite a bit for, for needing that. That was a Pete Alonzo card, right? Yep. I'm going to do 5-3. I don't want to spend the extra, like, 800 stubs, man. It's not worth it. So, someone will sell me John Franco. I, I, I guarantee at some point, that's a postseason program. That's a postseason program. David Wright, we'll do 16 eight, eight, eight. Yeah, we're over a million subs for sure. I'm interested to see if I end up spending 2 million, though. That's what I'm interested to see. I feel like no, but I really don't know. I mean, I easily could with... Uh, I could easily spend 3.5 million stubs a day, but I don't want to. Brooks Raley, Kodai Sanga, Luis Severino. So we're not putting in one for Severino. He's the card, the Team Affinity one. I'll do 5,055 for Kodai Sanga. Actually, I'll do 5,022. Might as well. And that's the Mets by orders. Whoo! Phillies, I'm missing 19. BR, BR... I was hoping I would see BRBR. 
Uh, Chase Utley. I thought I had all these cards. Wait, I could have sworn I had all the Hyper Series. Maybe not. Okay, so Chase Utley, we put in a buy order for him. Matt Strom will do one for him. I'm guessing he's like four or five. I'll just do four or five oh eight. Even if I'm even if I'm spending a few extra hundred stubs, it's not going to be that much extra. I love that we're still seeing cars in the top right, by the way, too. That's beautiful to see. Ninety two. I think that's where the five thousand starts. Oh man, Michael Mersano, something like that. It's Mercado, um, Shopek, Jim Tomey. Man. It's going to be nice. Like, this This is the only time I'm really going to have to do this. It sucks that I'm having to do it, but it's like, this is the only time I'm, I'm going to have to do it. All, I think all these orders should go through within the next 24 hours. I think even quicker than that. So I would assume. I don't know for sure. Obviously, I, there, there's no way to know. But I would assume they'll all go through. And, uh, and then I'm going to have way less cards that I'll need. Once I do the BR program, the ranked program, uh, finish off Team Affinity. Once I do all the postseason programs, like, there's going to be just... So many less cards than I need. Here's Schwarber. I do have my long list. You guys might have seen a few a few videos ago, a few weeks ago even. I have a whole list of the missions I need to do for the programs from the first three seasons that I haven't done. I think it's mainly just season three, actually. I think I finished all the programs in season one and season two. But I got a whole list of all the missions I need to do. We've probably already done some of them too. So uh, I'll make sure I load up my lineup. Like I'll probably do some, some ranked seasons with Tops Now cards. I'm sure I'll probably get some Tops Now cards in BR, Season Awards maybe. Uh, just cards for certain teams that I need to do. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It seems like a lot, and it is kind of a lot. But I think everything should go pretty fast. And like once once we get caught up on something, once we finish something, like I finished the Mike Schmidt program. I'm done with that now, forever. So I don't have to do any of that for the rest of the year. So eventually it should get done. I think I, I, think I put my... I think I put the, the list in order to, I think it's in, and there's a postseason program card. I think it's in order though, from like earliest to latest. I think like the list goes in order of where the program is on the list anyways. So I'm pretty sure like it should be pretty easy to organize and see what I need to do. Uh, I think I just put an order in for Zach Wheeler. I think that's where I'm at. So let me make sure. Okay. Bryson Stott and Zach Wheeler. Yeah. So here's Bryce Harper. So see, someone's flipping Bryce Harper. See, five thousand buy nows, twenty of them. You you could make like seven thousand stubs. It's probably pretty easy to make stubs, uh, selling these cards. And I love that the orders are still going through in the top right. But uh, what else? What else was I was saying? One other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the programs, I I do think it should be pretty easy to uh to go through them for me, and get all the missions done maybe find missions that like i could kill two birds with one stone that's going to be a big thing for me too postseason right there uh i feel like i already did this bryson stotts did i i'm almost positive i mean i i think that's my order what I, i'm just gonna put i'm gonna put in another one and if we have a duplicate we have a duplicate i guess let me let me just cancel the, the bryson stott order and see was that me yeah that was me okay i guess i messed up a little bit my bad uh, Bryce Harper, he's a collection, but and uh, anyways, I think I should be able to get a lot of these cards that I'm missing from programs and stuff like that pretty easily. BR, 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 not BR, but yeah, I, I'm going to get these rewind packs in BR. That shouldn't be too bad, so yeah, I'm not too worried. It's just going to take some time. It's going to take some play in the game. Uh, but they're, I, but they're, they are going to, they're still adding more programs though, too. So wait, I need to try to get all caught up like in this next week, but no, I think stuff, I think stuff might be coming next week though, too. Oh man. But I guess while I'm grinding for that stuff, maybe, you know, dude, oh God, there's a lot of cards I don't have and they're going to add even more, which I like that they're continuing to add cards. I don't, I don't want them to stop adding cards. It's just, I need to get caught up. I really need to get caught up. Um, so that's King Seaver, Seaver King. Wait, what is this? Is his name Seaver or is his name King? Seaver King, that's kind of a sick name. Uh, 5,008. It's funny seeing all the 5,008s go through in the top right, though. That was Nick Senzel. Uh, that's Halloween program. I like seeing cards and programs, too. Even though I don't want to have to grind the program, it's nice to see a card that I'm not going to have to buy. That's always, that's kind of a good sign, too. Trey Lipscomb. James Wood, 12,000 for him. I mean, I could do 11,000 something. I'll just do 12,000. That's fine with me. Uh, Dylan Cruz, 5,600. Yeah, someone's trying to buy a lot of Dylan Cruz too, man. 
you could really be making a lot of stubs i would think pretty easily and there's another team affinity card that's nice cubs yo the cubs got a lot of cards they don't have too oh shoots all right two two five five and then we got to go all the way back down to the bottom wait how many do they have that i don't have uh 27 jeez jeez i think i should be able to do 2255 five for this too i hope and I, keep, I keep sometimes i'm doubling it i was doing that more at the beginning um br program br program okay it's nice to see the br program for some of these this is probably 4500 35 i'm glad i didn't just guess i guess oh man drew smiley there's so many cards i don't have holy Jan Gomes, I'm guessing he's 3,500 too. I didn't really pay attention to the overalls. Because sometimes that thing in the top right, I think, blocks the overalls a little bit. Um, I guess I could see the overalls literally right here, though, too. I think this is 4,500. We'll do 4,508. Javi, there we go. Where am I? Where am I? That was Javi right there. Kevin Alcantara, 91. I think that's 4,500 again. We're on to the NL Central, though. That's some good news. Slowly but surely, making my way through. That was Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Uh, we'll do 5,008 right there. Ian Happ, love to see that. Where was that? I'm getting lost, too, man, while I'm doing this, having to go through it. Like, I wish it, I wish it just took you back to where you were, you know? I wish it didn't take you back to the top. I'm sure there's some reason that it, it takes you back to the top, but I wish it didn't. I wish it did not. So that's why when I do like the live series at the beginning of the year, I just go on like the community market and go from lowest to highest overall. Uh, I think I just did Matt Shaw. Yeah. See, I'm getting lost now. Shoda. 5,008. That was right here. Wilson Contreras. Ooh, not doing Wilson Contreras. Nope. 116,000 stubs. No, we're staying away from the six figures today. There's a lot of them too. I definitely don't have enough stubs to buy every card in the game right now. Uh, where was that? That was Wilson, 5,008, Nick Castellanos, Lightning. Oh my goodness, man, this is crazy. I wonder if I'm going to have any free agent flashbacks that I don't have two. I got to imagine there's at least one or two, but I really don't know. But like Flawless or Ranked or something, or maybe even like Headliners or Chase Cards, I really don't know. <gasps> no! No! I lost my spots! Oh, man. I guess now we see how many teams we have to go, which is quite a bit but it's also sort of not that much i didn't hit castellanos i did cade and now we're on a chris bryant romantic about baseball so sammy sosa there's a lot there's so, yo there's so many cards i haven't used like if i don't have a lot of these cards i probably haven't used them unless maybe in vr but even then probably not so that's ranked uh action figure collection but we can just do this 15 7 7 oh man we spent over a million stubs today and we're still going we still got a lot of cards to to try to get ranked all right chris bryant here yo this is yeah this video is gonna be way longer than i thought man this video is gonna be way longer than i thought but i hope y'all don't mind i hope there's at least one person watching right now uh if there is cool if not hopefully y'all at least watch some of it <laughs> oh man mark Pryor right there uh p crow armstrong season one collections yeah, I'm definitely gonna I think I'm gonna have to do a video where I go through the collections because I'm probably missing a whole bunch of stuff. And I just wanna like I wanna I wanna do my non-sellable cards first, but then it's like I would probably want to collect other cards too, because I don't I don't plan on selling cards. And I, I know this says ranked seasons, but I'm still gonna put in a buy order since he's super cheap. If I get another one, I can always just sell the duplicate. Um Cubs are done. BR, BR, that's nice to see um i don't know if there's gonna be 4500 probably not this is probably like 35 yeah 3500 okay so we're kind of learning i'm surprised i haven't learned yet uh but i i want to start with the non-sellable cars but then even after non-sellable man it's like even after non-sellable i still feel like i should collect everything for like season one season two like I i'm not i'm probably not gonna be selling these cards anyways i want to collect all the cards anyways We'll see what happens though. That's that's for that's for another day. That's not for today. Forty five oh eight. Oh wait, he's eighty nine. Okay, three five oh eight, and then I'll try to cancel that order. Chase Petty, boom, nice. Chase Petty, Chase Petty, Chase Petty, Cam. 
Uh, I guess I'll just do 4,008 since there's nine of those. Uh, oh, maybe 90 is different though, too. And where is that? Okay, Matt McLean. Dog. Wait, what overall is he? 91. Okay, 4508. There's so many. I mean, we've already gotten a we've got we've already gotten a lot more cards today, but oh my god, there's so many that we need. But once we're done with the central, we're on the last division. That's where it's gonna feel like it flies by, I feel like. Once we're done with the central. Ellie de la Cruz. Uh, I'll do five one one two. That's fine. You know. I don't see that six thousand staying there for super long. Out of position series special collections. Wait. I'm pretty sure I finished all the Team Affinity chapters from the first three seasons. Because I, I just got that Mike Trout not too long ago. So I think we should have those done. 5,088 is fine. Chase Burns. I'm ready to be done with this though, man. I'm so ready to be done. And a position collection. I'll just do 5,336. Fine with me. That's Hunter Green. Barry Larkin is ranked. Chapman. We'll grab Chapman. Kind of surprised he's not more, to be honest. Eight four 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 works. Where was he? Right there. Joey Votto eleven five five five. Oh, that's six figures. We're not doing that. Almost done with the Reds, right? Yeah, that's Joey Votto there. Dog. I'll do five thousand. I'm not spending an extra thousand for Tony Perez. No need. No need. We have Adam Dunn for ranked. I can just buy him. He's going to be cheap too. Because I, I think there's still some ranked cards that aren't cheap. This might be one of the program ones though too, which would make sense why he would be. And these are collections or programs right here. And we're on to the Brewers. 12 cards I don't have. BR? Yep. Okay, so there's at least one BR card here. I think this is going to be the 35s. 3508. Willie Adamas. Reese Hoskins should be 3508. Nice, love to see that. Where was that? So Richie Sexton. Wait, I, I really thought I had all these hyper series, man. I really thought I had all of these. I don't remember what overall they are. Eight. Oh wait, I gotta do it. It's eight thousand. Okay. That's interesting. I guess because it's a core card. It's got to be because it's a core card. Yeah. Maybe four thousand. Four. Okay, forty-five oh eight. My bad. Is he 90 or 91 over? If he's 91, that makes sense otherwise. Yeah, he, oh, he's 91. Okay, my bad. Joseph Ortiz, Ryan Braun from BR. He's one of the program cards, though. But I still think I'm going to hold off on getting him. I mean, I could get him and I could just sell the other one. I just don't know where I'm at for the program cards. Um, nah, I, I, won't, I won't do him now. Actually, I might as well. It's just 5,000, you know? If I get a duplicate of him, I could always just sell it. I'm okay with that. Uh, Jacob Mizurowski. I remember using, I think, like the... Uh, was it London Series? No. Spring? Was it the Spring spring event? That, that Spring... I don't know what it was called. The Spring thing? Ranked. I can just do Prince Fielder too. That's fine. It was like some Spring thing. Spring Showdown? No. Spring Breakout? I think Spring Breakout was what it was called. I'm pretty sure. That, that really rings a bell in my head. Um, I'll do 555 five, five for this. I won't do 6,000 something. No need. Jackson Churio, Captain card. 808. Hopefully that sells. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the, the other one's already gone. And then Devin Williams. I guess I'm going to spend uh, 20 something thousand. Dude, we have spent so many stubs today. Pirates. Oh, man. It's nice seeing only eight cards I don't have. That's beautiful. Should be a quick team. I think the Cardinals, there's a lot of cards I don't have, though, once we get to them. Uh, I just did Ryan Barucki. Dude, I don't like these guys that are like 19,000 stubs. I don't like seeing that. But we got Ralph Kiner's order in. O'Neal Cruz. That's going to be 5,008. There's some... I swear to God I had some of these cards. I guess not. I mean, I really haven't bought cards all year, so I guess it makes sense. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do some team builds with these. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of cars though this year that I literally never touch. I'm, I'm buying them, but I'm literally never going to use them. But that's fine. That's more of a collection thing. Just something to spend my stubs on. Um, Andrew McCutcheon, Career Tributes. Hannes Wagner, Paul Skeens. Not doing either of these. 
Dude, Paul Skeens is expensive too. Oh my god, okay. Uh, well, Pirates done for now. Cardinals not as bad as I thought. That's BR. This is not BR. I think this is 3,500. I want a finest Mason win. I want a 99 overall finest Mason win, please. Please and thank you. There's Victor Scott's. Three five one one. No, dude, I keep I keep like fat finger double pressing this stuff, man. Victor Scott there. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, dude, that's low. We still got a lot to go. This should be three five zero eight. Brendan Donovan. I wouldn't mind a finest ninety nine. Brendan Donovan too. Where was he? All right, we're a little bit lower than we need to be. That's there. Tink hence. 90 overall i think i think that should be 4,000. so 4,008 should work and then i double pressed it again dude yeah 4,008 works for that and that's what spring break on i think yeah it, it literally says at the top spring break on okay i guess i hadn't seen the misery card at that time uh this is also a 90. i would say i wouldn't mind at finest 99 nolan gorman but he did not have a great year this year <laughs> uh let diaz uh, I'm going to try to do 17. If this goes through, it goes through. If it doesn't go through, we'll, we'll buy him at some point. But I'm not spending that many extra stubs on him for now. Like, I'll come back and do that later. Um, Tommy Edmond. We'll do 4508 for him. I think there's only, what, one team in the central after this one? So, we, we I think we're slowly getting to the end. Event card. Where do I get this Ozzy Smith? If you're watching right now, if there's anybody out there that knows, please tell me. How do I get this Ozzy Smith? I have no idea. And a position collection for the record books mission. There's a mission apparently I need to do. Okay. Um, a six figure card. All right. A card we can buy finally, man. There's, I'm going to have to figure out how to get some of these. I'm sure it could be pretty found easily with like a Google search or something too. Jordan Walker, 99 overall, 5,008. And are we done with the Cardinals? Yep. Oh, and we're done with the central. Beautiful. All right, BR program, not BR program. Man, five teams left. It's it's slowly but surely getting done. That was Jordan Montgomery, right? Yep. Jordan Lawler, 90 overall, 4,008. It's still nice to see cards going through in the top right, even though I'm sure I have a lot of orders that still need to go through. It's nice seeing these go through. Uh, 5,008. Double pressed it again. I've been doing that too much today. I've been doing that way too much. Who was that? I don't even know who that was. Was that Lordy's? I think that was. Yep, Christian Walker will do 5,008 for him. I think the Dodgers are probably going to be a pretty big team, though, too. If I had to guess. Dalton Varsho, Lawler, Lordy's. We did these guys. Cattell Marte's collection. Randy Johnson collection. Collection. Okay. Uh, Luis Gonzalez here. 5,008. And then this... Cattell Marte, 14, I thought that said 140,000. I was going to say, I'm not spending that, but 14,000, not too bad. 14,608. My notifications just hit uh, 100, but we, we already had 100 before that. So, like, I think we've already had 200 orders plus go through today, which seems like a ton. Oh, my God. BR program. BR program. That's beautiful to see. I like that. BR program. Ranked program. I mean, I could put in an order for Matt Holiday, though. Because if I get duplicates of these, I'll just sell them. Make some extra profit, I guess. Uh, where was that at? That was right there. Jordan Beck. 92s were up to the 5,000 one again. It's nice that it caps at 5,000, though. Unless it's like a core card. That was Jordan Beck. So we'll do Michael Taglia. Oh, my goodness. I'm so ready to be done. I can't wait to be done putting in these orders, man. And I can't wait for them to eventually go through. It's going to take a while. It's definitely not going to be by the end of this video. Um, you guys might even see that collection video that I do. You guys might see orders still going through during that. There's a, there's a very high chance that that happens. Nice. That's Charlie Condone. He's right there. Charlie Blackman's career tribute. Yeah, I've really got to do these collections, I guess. I'm probably missing out on some, some cards and packs from those. Marquez. 5488. Eight. Done with the Rockies, I think. Yeah, done with the Rockies. I should have paid attention to which team had the least amount of cards. Dodgers, only 75. Wait, that's actually, I guess, less than I thought. BR, BR, BR. I like seeing the BR ones, man. <laughs> 
Because it's like, okay, it's cars that I'm, I'm going to be able to earn real soon because I'm working on the BR program. And it's not going to be easy, but it's, or it's not going to be, it's not going to be fast, but it's going to be pretty easy. This is going to be kind of time consuming. That was Will Smith. If I was Will Smith, I would have 4,600. Slowly but surely, dude, we're almost there. I can see the finish line. It's so close. Hey, Oscar, he's 91, so I'm going to do 45 away because that'll go through eventually, too. That's got to go through eventually. Could tell Marte just went through. Yeah, you could really be making some stubs flipping cards for sure. Like, these are going pretty fast. Like, imagine if I would just sell these cards now instead of, instead of doing collections. I would be making so much. Uh, Nick Frasso, he's 92, so we're back to... Oh, I'm not canceling that. Nope. 5008. Oh my god, I double pressed it again. Oh, I can feel the finish line approaching. I'm so excited. Yoshinobu Yamamoto. My brain is fried though right now, man. This is crazy. My eyes are starting to burn. But I'm glad I'm doing this. You know, I've said it already today. Like, uh, this is the last time I'm going to have to do this, really. Assuming that most of these orders go through. I hope they do. I don't know how I'm double pressing that so often. That was Paul Canerco that I just did. So now we're on Bobby Miller. Um, I'll do 5,008 for him. It's, I, I've, I've double pressed it like six cards in a row. My brain must be messing up. All right, I'm, I'm not going to double press it here. There we go. Okay. I just need to pay slightly more attention, I guess. Dustin May. Holy dude. I think we have two teams. I think it's Padres and Giants after this. I think. Corey Seager, a little bit more expensive, but not super expensive. Six, seven, seven, seven is fine. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on two million stubs. Oh my God. I'm coming up on two million stubs. Jesus. That's Freddie Freeman, 97s for the Dodgers. Some of these are going to be, a lot of these are going to be program. Program, collection, uh, not a program or collection. Nice. I wonder if they're going to add these captain packs anytime soon. Because, like, I want to see what the Jackie Robinson card is price. Do I have them? I don't have them. <gasps> oh, they better add these captain packs soon. XP reward path. Kershaw's BR. Um, we can do this. I'm not buying Jackie today. Nope, I'm not doing that. Dude, I used to have all those captain cards and then I sold them, I think. But now I'm wishing I did. Collection, then, yeah, Jackie, look at that, man. They're going to have to add these packs soon. I really don't see the price of these cards staying high. I really feel like sometime in the next couple of weeks, we're going to see these added. I could be wrong, but I'm not buying them now. BR program. Uh, I think this is just 3000 or wait, let's just, let's just test it. No, two, two. Okay. So I would have spent a few extra and I double pressed it again, but now we got one more team after this. We're down to our final two teams. I'm still going to check the, uh, I'll still check the, uh, the free agent cards though, too. I think this is 4,008. So I'm glad that I don't have to check it every time. We, we kind of learned it as we went on. It took a while. Ethan Salas. Salas. 4,008. Man, I'm so happy to be almost done with this. I've been recording for over an hour now, plus the 15 minutes for, uh, for selling the live series. I had paused my recording. So I'm so happy to be almost done. This is this is taking way longer than I thought it would. I really did not expect. But I'm glad I'm, again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a broken record. I'm glad I'm doing this. I wanted to get it done. I'm glad I just sat down and decided to do it. I thought it was going to take a lot quicker, though. I did not expect me to not have this many cards. I, I, I really don't know if there's anyone that's going to watch this whole thing. <laughs> I hope there is. I would love it if there's still someone listening to me right now, but... I could just be talking to myself, and if that's if that's the case, that's a okay. I probably should have streamed this though, because I could have talked to chat as I did this, and that would have made for like maybe some interesting conversations. So it's not just like me doing the same thing the whole time talking to myself. I definitely ran out of things to talk about because I'm also trying to focus and make sure I don't mess up. And since it takes me back to the top every time, I'm trying to make sure I don't lose my spots. I got to think, though, that they're, they're going to find a way to bring that price of that Jackie card down. I could be wrong. You never know, but I really I feel like they should. That's going to be a collection. Yeah, there's some collections. I, I'm, I'm going to have to do a video where I go through the collections and check. Because I got to think that I'm probably missing out on some easy cards that way. Uh, did I just do Michael King? 
I think I just put in an order for Michael King. Yeah, Estrada will do... I'll do 9-1-1. I think this will go through at some point, too. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Salas, I'm not doing. Giants, 14 cards I don't have. BR, yep. And then I think this is... Yeah, I think this is going to be just... So, yeah, I'll do 8,009. I guess I should have all the Hyper Series after today, though, too. I thought I had all of them for some reason. I guess I don't, though. Um, I didn't see his... Okay, so that's going to be 4508. So we're almost done. I mean, hopefully I don't have a ton of free agents that I need to buy, too. 91 overall, 4508. Billy Wagner, 47,008 stubs. Oh, it just went through. Um, Blake Snell... He's 91. I'm just going to do 5,008. It's only 500 extra stubs. That's fine. Have I made 2 million? I, I, have not spent, I have not spent 2 million stubs yet, though. I'm not really hoping that I do either. I kind of want to buy the Jackie Robinson card so I can get it to 2 million, but I, I just I really feel like they're going to bring his price down. If they don't, I'll buy him eventually, but I got to think the price is going to come down. Kyle Harrison. Oh, that's a program. All right, yeah, I definitely need to finish the programs that I got to get done. I'll probably sit down and try to do that, you know, next week. I need to check the calendar, though, too, and just see when other stuff is coming. I'll probably do that once we finish putting in these buy orders and I'm saying goodbye. Um, uh, Monty Irvin, 5,008. Getting close to the end of the actual teams, and I do need to check the free agents, though, too. Matt Kane is BR. Willie McCovey. Five, three, five, five. Nice. Where was he? Dude, I lost my place already. Camilo Doval. I'll spend stubs. 19, five, oh wait. So all the normal teams are done. Let's check the free agents now. Who? All right, it depends on the prices of these cards. Okay, that's not too bad. 45, oh eight. Oops. Double pressed it. I didn't even realize. That's John Donaldson. I think he was a chase card. One of the first ones, if not the first. All right, and these should, yeah, these should all be the 5,000 quick sell now. Rap Dixon. Okay, so we, I don't think we're going to get quite to 2 million, million stubs. We'll see. Um, It's going to be about, though. I might, I, I might end up rounding the title. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just do what it actually is. I don't remember exactly where I started either, though. Hank Thompson, Tony Stone, 5255. Five. Leon Day, we'll just do 5-9, that's fine. 599. We're almost done. Uh Josh Gibson, he's from ranked. Jose Mendez. 5008. Let's see. Buck Leonard, we'll do him too. Seven, 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 seven. Andy Cooper, nope. <laughs> and then, boom, we've placed orders, I think, for everybody I don't have besides the super, super expensive ones. Which is crazy, man. Nearly 2 million stubs. 1,900,000 plus. I, I think over 1,900,000 stubs spent. And that's just actually crazy. I still got a lot of orders that, uh, that need to go through. Let me see how many orders I need to go through. Yeah. Still a ton of orders that need to go through, but we can see they're still going through in the top right. And as we can see on the calendar, it looks like they are going to be adding more cards. It says Captain Blizzard drop one. So I would not be surprised, y'all. Be careful. I would not be surprised if that Captain Blizzard drop included some previous captains. I could be wrong. Don't take my word for it. Don't sell your card and have them go up in stubs just because I said so. But just keep in mind, Captain Blizzard drop... I'm expecting new cards and old cards, but I really don't know what to expect. But Winter Wonderland events, I'm assuming in the next few weeks, as we get into December, we're probably getting some more cards. That's why I'm trying to get caught up right now. But hope y'all enjoyed way longer than I expected it to be. Uh, feel free to drop a like if you did. Subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Hopefully I'll see one of these on screen, another on the channel. Otherwise, I hope I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. And hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.